The ongoing fight between Ripple and the SEC settlement includes the latest information on appeals and the timetable for Judge Torr's eventual ruling, which will apply to both the CC and Ripple. The long-running case against XRP is currently expected to be resolved very soon. Uh, according to analysts, as the ultimate verdict that was ordered by Judge Tories could be issued this year, most likely in September today. Ripple has expressed their opposition to the approximately $2 billion in disgorgement, prejudgment interest, and civil penalty that the Securities and Exchange Commission ordered. The SEC is set to deliver its final response on May 6 as part of the remedial phase of the inquiry. But it is Ripple's opinion that the corporation is only permitted to be subject to a fine uh, that does not go beyond $10 million. Ashley Prosper is regarded as an expert in the XRP dispute that is on the table. I noted in my earlier remark that the final statement from the set during the SEC, during the remedies phases of the utmost significance for the Ripple versus SEC case. Apply this statement was made during the remedies phase. This is because the parties may potentially confer on potential fines for XRP, institutional sales, and divulge conditions of potential settlement in the dispute between Ripple and the SEC. This is the reason why this is the case. The specialists believe that a compromise will be made, and they are also of the opinion that Judge Torres will issue his final ruling in uh, September. As a direct result of this, the price of XRP may increase throughout September. It is anticipated that Judge Torres will make his ultimate ruling sometime in September. According to the forecast of analysts, the ultimate decision that Judge Torres will issue in the case that involves Ripple and the SEC could be handed down this year, most likely in September. Ripple has voiced its opposition to the proposed disgorgement, prejudgment interest, and civil penalty of approximately $2 billion that have been recommended by the Securities and Exchange Commission. This comes at a time when Ripple and the SEC are at the phase of the proceeding that is known as the remedies phase during the proceeding. The corporal is the expert in the XRP litigation. It is quite likely that the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit will be settled. Um, settlement is expected to take place. When it comes to the Ripple versus SEC case, the final response that the SEC makes during the remedies phase is of the utmost importance. At this stage, the parties have the chance to discuss the possibility of fines that are relevant to institutional sales of XRP and disclose the specifics of a potential settlement. Additionally, they can discuss the possibility of a settlement. Because of this, the case can be continued until June. On the other hand, it is to be anticipated that a final verdict will be rendered within 60 to 90 days of the conclusion of the final brief. Uh, this is a significantly shorter time uh, compared to the rulings that were issued in summary judgment. Can the protracted battle over XRP is expected to be resolved very soon, according to the opinions of some experienced persons who have expressed their belief in this matter? The reason for this is that it is anticipated that Judge Torres will issue his final ruling this year most likely beginning in the year SEC. This is the reason why this is the case. The dispute between the United States Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple will continue in the same manner as it is presently in the remedies phase until an appeal and a resolution are available today. Uh, this occurs since the dispute is currently in the remedies phase. On the 6th of May, the Securities and Exchange Commission will provide its conclusive response to the probe, which is now involved in the remedies phase. Ripple's defense of the over $2 billion in discouragement, prejudgment, interest, and civil penalty that was issued by the SEC was met with criticism from the firm. The SEC levied these penalties. Ripple asserts that the financial institution is only responsible for paying a charge that does not exceed $10 million in total. Shortly, the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple are anticipated to settle as stated by one expert. The final statement from the SEC during the phases is incredibly critical for Ripple, according to Ashley Prosper, who is an expert on the litigation regarding XRP. This is because the parties may potentially confer on potential sanctions for XRP institutional sales and divulge conditions of a future settlement in the files. This is the reason why this is the case. In addition, by the 20th of May, they are expected to submit letter motions and opposition relating to the sealing of information. This requirement applies to both internal and external parties. Following the submission of the party's reply briefs, this is situated the appropriate position. Action may be brought forward to June, which is when the final brief will be presented if this occurs. A final finding was expected to be issued within 60 to 90 days, which would be a significant amount of time faster than the findings on the summary judgment along the same lines. This was the expectation of the attorneys for XRP. When it comes to the XRP, Ashley Prosper thinks that the XRP unity will have to wait until the final ruling that Judge Torres issues, which may be in July or August or even September. Uh, in addition, she inquires about the possibility of both an appeal and a settlement being reached. 
An appeal will be filed by the Securities and Exchange Commission on a summary judgment order on XRP programmatic sales. Ripple and the SEC are most likely to appeal rulings and motions that were unsuccessful. The motions that Ripple will appeal are the second one in the complaint. On the other hand, Ripple can file an appeal if the sanctions are considered to be more harsh and not for rippling reasons for discouragement when it comes to the sanctions. The corporation maintains that the claim that was made by the SEC regarding the experience of institutional investors is not genuine. That is the position that the corporation takes. There has not been sufficient damage done to the financial situation. I am looking forward to reading uh, what the SEC has to say in its reply brief about Ripple's contention that the permanent injunction should not be granted or if it is granted, should be restrained. This is according to Attorney Morgan, who stated that I'm looking forward to reading what the SEC has to say. Instead of focusing on the amount of money that Ripple is compelled to pay, he believes that the injunction is more essential. I am looking forward to seeing what the SAC decides to do in its reply brief. Uh, it is true that the decision made by the Securities and Exchange Commission to permanently halt sales of Ripple to Odo clients, which came after the final decision made by Judge Torres, uh, has generated a great lot of speculation among the parties. Bring Nashley Prosper. Uh, they can reach a settlement with one another to eliminate the risk of an appeal. This can take place at any moment between the present and any potential ruling from an appellate court. The most recent file that Ripple has created, which was made on April 22nd, uh, they can reach will be followed by the filing of the rebuttal brief that the SEC prepared on May 6th. This brief will be included in the brief that the SEC has already filed. Ripple is able to state in response to the claims that were provided by the SEC. Within the context of the ongoing legal conflict with Ripple, the Securities and Exchange Commission is on the verge of submitting its argumentative brief. This article digs into the particulars of the situation and then makes some broad statements about the possible outcomes that could play out as a result of the situation. It is almost time for the Securities and Exchange Commission to hand in the reply brief that it will be submitting in the Ripple case. As a participant in the XRP market, Ashley Prosper shares her opinions on the potential repercussions that could result from the ongoing court struggle. The, the legal dispute that has been going on between Ripple Labs and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has reached yet another threshold of significance following the mission of Ripple's brief on April 22, the Securities and Exchange Commission is getting ready to file its response brief on May 6, following the opening brief that was presented by the SEC on March 22. An extension of the deadline for Ripple to file its opposing brief was granted to the technology company. At the opening brief of the Secretary of State, which defended Ripple against the claims made by the Secretary of State as part of its opposition brief, uh, gave rise to this new development, which comes after the opening brief of the Secretary of State. In response to the expert testimony and other exhibits that were presented in the opening brief of the case, Ripple provided their response.